What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and today we are taking a quick look at Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5. Just as in my previous Asus laptop review, I will tell you what is this Chromebook actually good for, in which case you should buy it and also we'll run through the specs real fast. So at first place, I must say that this Lenovo laptop is primarily positioned as a portable work machine with a bunch of creative features. There are different factors which point to that. Good battery life, about 8 to 9 hours working from a single charge, decent touch screen, 13.3 inches and 1080p resolution, but it might actually be a little brighter. With 300 nits display brightness, sometimes you just can't see what you want on the open air when it's real sunny. But this screen is a USI stylus compatible, so it's an equal exchange, I should say. The brightness for stylus. Without exaggeration, the most comfortable backlit keyboard I've ever used and it's also spill resistant. Great bonus. 360 degrees flexible design which allows to use this thing as a tablet and this is something insane, I swear. It boosts the productivity so hard because it's much, much easier to do some tasks with a touch screen, especially when it's in a tablet mode. Plus a good set of ports. You got two USB Type-C ports, USB Type-A, micro SD card slot which will definitely help you if you're a creator or just want to step up the memory game and also there is a regular audio jack included. Now let's talk about the design of this machine. In my opinion it is fantastic especially for the price. This Chromebook is on sale on the Amazon at the moment and click on the link in the description box you can buy it for only 389 bucks and you won't find more pleasant device to use in this budget anywhere in the world. The bottom is made of aluminum and pretty much all the other exterior parts are plastic. It feels fine though and deals with oils well. As you can see there are no fingerprints on the surface at all. Very interesting design feature is about the 720p webcam. You can easily block its view by switching this little toggle. So yeah, if you're all about security and confidentiality, go for it, this little boy is waiting for you, the link is in the description. The touchpad is big and I like it, but the quality, well, it could be better. I'm a MacBook user, so I can say these touchpads are on absolutely different levels, but these laptops are different budgets as well. Speakers are on the front panel and it's always nice when the sound goes directly to your ears and it's not muffled. They are not the best honestly, but they definitely do the job and watching a movie, creating some atmosphere with the music, it's really a good thing to do with them. The overall look of this Chromebook is so unique, minimalistic and aesthetic. It's pretty edgy and I like it too. But what I don't like is this huge bezel below the screen. Damn, it's like one and a half fingers thick. The keyboard and touchpad are not detachable and this whole thing weighs only 1.3 kilograms and the thickness is 17 millimeters. It's so lightweight and that's why it is amazing to carry it around. It looks fantastic so when you carry this laptop in a hand, you're definitely the most stylish guy in the area. And when you keep it in your backpack, you don't even feel its weight. I absolutely love it. As I said before, this laptop packs a bunch of features which are very useful for people who work in the creative sphere. I'm talking first of all about the touch screen which is stylus compatible so you can easily draw on it, you can create logos, draw comics, do some serious graphic design thanks to the great CPU performance as well, edit photos more precisely and so on. Secondly, flexible design boosts the ease of use of the laptop as well as the productivity. For example, it makes the drawing process much easier, your laptop takes up less space becoming more compact, also it significantly loses in its height and doesn't block those gorgeous views at the beach or park. And thirdly, it packs an SD card slot. If you do photography, you can easily insert your camera SD card into this Chromebook and start editing your photos right away. Thanks to a good battery life, the laptop will last you for about 7 hours editing photos and it is definitely a good news. Now, let's talk about the main specs of this machine. So, this little boy packs an Intel 10th Gen i3 CPU, which is a dual-core processor with a base frequency of 2.1 GHz, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB SSD. All this power is totally enough for this machine to operate effectively, especially when there is a Chrome OS on board. It just requires much less power to work well and smooth than the regular Windows 10. During my testing, I never had a thought of having more powerful CPU and in our time when everything is happening online, 64GB SSD is fine for all the purposes as well. 
plus you can upgrade it by using an SD card as a secondary storage device and keep there for example your photos and videos, maybe some other documents and so on. They also produced a more powerful model which is rocking the 8th gen i5 processor, 8GB of RAM and 128 SSD. This model is also listed in the description box for you, so if you really care about the amount of storage, you might want to check this boy out as well. It costs 100 bucks more and you get same Lenovo Chromebook 5 laptop except on the steroids. And lastly, talking about connectivity, it's equipped with the 6th gen Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. Simply put, its connection is always stable and the speeds are exceedingly high. Alright, and now, who should buy this laptop and for what purposes? As I mentioned before, we have Chrome OS on board and maybe you've heard about it before. Maybe you know that it's very simple to use operating system, much more intuitive than Windows 10. Maybe you also know that it's one of the most secured systems in the world and that it's crazy fast and works smooth as well. It also has fantastic integration with Google services primarily because it is made by Google and it was created specifically to work on the internet. That is why this laptop is ideal for people who make most of their work online. I'm talking about businessmen, students, teachers, freelancers, marketers, copywriters, journalists, analysts and so on. If you work in a special niche which requires specific software to get the job done, there is a little concern. You cannot install Mac or Windows applications on a Chrome OS machine and it means that you can install Final Cut Pro or Adobe Photoshop for example, you're gonna have to find analogs of these programs, ideally which may be run online or which you can find on a Google Play. Yes, Chrome OS supports each app you can find on a Google Play and it gives you plenty of options to choose the best replacements for your usual software. For example, some of the best Photoshop analogs are Polar Photo Editor, Pixlr Editor and my favorite, Canva. So yeah, there are definitely pros and cons in Chrome OS, but I like it so much and as for me, it doesn't limit my workflow at all. Once again, it's secure, simple, clean, fresh and minimalistic. Just like our today's main guest, Lenovo Chromebook Flex 5. So that is it for the video, I really hope it will be useful for you and now you know for sure if this laptop will be a good option for your purposes and if it's so please consider buying it using the link below in the description box, it will support me dramatically and help to produce more videos like this at no additional cost for you. Thank you guys so much. Also please support this video with a like, subscribe for more interesting videos and see you in the next one. Peace.